Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a video where you guys choose which horse I buy. So basically on Instagram, I'm going to be posting some pictures like the map, which side of the map, and etc. I don't know who started this, I, I couldn't guess, but whoever did it, it's a very creative idea. I really like buying horses around holidays or on my birthday, so then it's really fun because then you can say, oh, so-and-so, this horse, this was my Christmas horse or like my birthday horse, and it, I don't know, I just think that's fun. This is going to be my last video before Christmas, so I thought it would be a good idea for you guys to pick my Christmas horse. I'm going to use Instagram for this because sometimes the community tab doesn't really work too well, like people don't see the posts on it. Here is the first poll that I posted and I waited about 20 minutes to get these results and the left side of the map won by 18% and I'm, I, I don't know how I feel about the left side of the map with the horses, that means that any Clydesdales are out of the question since they're all on the right side of the map. Not that I wanted another Clydesdale, but I mean... Now you guys are going to decide top or bottom for this side of the map, so I'm making a new post. I don't know which one you guys will pick because there's a lot of horses in the top and the bottom, so I mean the top has the manor and golden leaf, but then the bottom has new hillcrest which has a load of horses and oh also I forgot to mention that sleighs because this is Christmas themed that sleighs that lead to the winter village are also going to count so that's cool okay so here are the results of this poll and the bottom one by a lot which is kind of crazy I mean I don't think the map was actually split in half that well because I should have put the line farther down since a lot of the top of the map is area we haven't gotten to explore yet so that was my bad but I think it still worked out pretty well anyway so let's go on to the next one the next is left or right and I really hope you pick the right because there's more options there's actually the hermit down in the corner and I didn't realize the hermit was even in the map like in range but it is and then there's more land well there's no horses there but it doesn't really matter and then new hill so i hope you guys pick the right side i waited about 20 minutes again and the right side won by a lot so i'm happy about that for this one i used a fruit picker because i wanted it to be fair as fair as it can get i guess because i didn't want to pick oh the circus has to go against new hillcrest like i wanted it to be random so we have four places and if at this if the circus gets picked or the winter village it will end so fast because there's only one horse that you can buy there but if it's the hermit or new hillcrest It'll take a little bit longer than- oh, I hope- I just hope it's not New Hillcrest because there are so many horses there that it's just going to take a really long time, but we'll see. I randomly picked out the Winter Village and the Circus first, so those two are going against each other first, and then the Hermit and New Hillcrest are going against each other. Okay, it's been 20 minutes for both of these and the winter village beat out the circus which i mean i kind of wanted to buy a zoni because i don't have one but maybe later for the hermit versus new hillcrest new hillcrest won by a lot so it looks like people do not want me to buy a welsh at the hermit <laughs> i forgot to record the results of the winter village versus new hillcrest because those are the two that won but it was New Hillcrest by a lot, so that has already been decided. And now we have to go through all of the breeds and you guys have to pick breeds. So I'm putting them all in a random picker and then seeing which ones come out of the random 
chooser thingy first so that I can put them in an order that's random. Now I'm making the post for the Lipizzaner versus the Frisian Sport and those were the two breeds that came out first and I put keep in mind you are just picking the breed right now not necessarily the color because a lot of these breeds have multiple colors except for the AQH and the Thoroughbred so I don't know how to put a disclaimer for that because those are the only breeds there that if you pick that then I will be getting that one color but I'll be doing a battle of the colors if you guys choose a breed that's, you know, colorful. We're having an issue because it's been over 20 minutes. I checked it before and it was still 50-50 and it's been 50-50 this entire time. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit just because I can't keep going on until the difference in the votes is bigger, you know, so not half and half. I just think this is super crazy. I didn't know these were so, you know, competitive. I am still waiting for the Frisian and Lipizzaner to have a winner. I've been waiting forever, so I just had to post this because I, <laughs> I want people to vote so that, you know, the more people vote, the more clear the winner will be, so and the more accurate every poll will be. After 50 minutes, these are the results, and I know they're still close, but I have to end it at some point because we have to move on to the next stage. So, the Lipizzaner is the winner, and it might change, but no matter what, I guess the Lipizzaner is still going to be the winner because, you know, it's winning right now after 50 minutes, so we're going to go with that. The results for the other breeds are that the Icelandic beat out the American Quarter Horse by a lot. That is really surprising to me, but I mean, I'm glad I don't have to buy another Quarter Horse because I feel like they don't really represent their breed at all. The next poll is Thoroughbred versus Shire. I'm actually really surprised that the Thoroughbred won. I don't know why I'm so surprised, but... I mean, I, I personally thought the Shire would win just because this is a pretty color of Shire, I don't know. But the Thoroughbred's also cute, I just feel like, once again, it doesn't really represent the breed at all, so, I mean, yeah, I don't really want to end up buying this horse, so I hope it doesn't win. The next set of pulls are going to be the three breeds that won going against each other, so... It, it's set up in a weird way. Um, the number that came out is not even. There's three breeds, so I kind of have to do this in a weird way. But the Icelandic is so far winning against the Thoroughbred, which is nice to see. And that's only been up for six minutes, so it's unofficial. And then we have the Icelandic versus the Lipizzaner, and the Icelandic is winning so far. I really, I don't think I really have a preference. Actually, I do like the Lipizzaners a lot, so, you know. I'm surprised. This is only three minutes in, but the Thoroughbred is beating the Lipizzaner. I'm, I'm shocked about this. I honestly thought that the Lipizzaner would do better against the Thoroughbred, but again, it's only been three minutes, so, you know, I don't know about that. It has been over 20 minutes for every single poll and the results are that the Icelandic beat the Thoroughbred and the Thoroughbred beat the Lipizzaner and the Icelandic beat the Thoroughbred. In that case, I, I said on the post that these were the semi-finals because I didn't know how these like horses would play out. But the Icelandic beat both the Thoroughbred and the Lipizzaner, so it's not worth doing a whole nother, you know, it wouldn't make sense to keep going. So the Icelandic is the winner. What a joy, because the Icelandic has the most colors in New Hillcrest. I already have one of the colors, so that color is not going to be in this. But there are eight colors I believe that I don't have, but it makes the perfect number to have a little competition. So I have to randomize these colors, put them together, and see who wins. It has been 
over 20 minutes for all of the pulls and the gray and the chestnut really battled it out um someone also messaged me about this and they said oh wow the gray is actually the chestnut but grayscale which is kind of interesting they pointed that out i can't remember who it was but the left won by a little bit it's very very close next is the black and brown paint versus this grayish oh gosh i'm not even going to guess at the color of the one on the right i don't even know so it once again very close but the paint won out which i'm i'm really happy about i love that horse because mary was riding it around today and we were taking pictures and that horse is just so cute oh my gosh okay anyway here is the silver dappley color i'm not sure what that is and then the brown and i'm shocked at this result i did not know that the one on the right would be voted so much higher than the one on the left here's the last one and the black and white paint on the right beat out the gray or white or whatever you want to call it and I mean, I didn't really have a preference between these two. I kind of like them the same amount, so. The results for the finals of colors are in, and now the paints are going against each other. I'm a little sad because I really like the brown and black paint a lot, but I mean, the one on the right's also cute. The brown one over the gray, I don't know, for some reason that's surprising to me because I know a lot of people like gray horses and I don't, I don't know, it's not like the gray one here is like dapply or anything special, so that's probably why, but I mean, yeah, now the brown and the black and white paint are going head to head. The most unexpected, I was not expecting those two to win, so that's a little crazy. I just put up choose my horse left versus right i'm really happy so this is a while later because it just it took forever for the votes to not be 50 50 again the left is the winner the black and white paint you guys chose the black and white paint for me so now we have to do you know, a poll of two different names that I picked. So, well, one of them someone else picked. I, whoever I was with at the stable told me Snowflower. I can't, maybe it was Piper Autumn Star. I cannot remember who chose that or it was someone in the club. I don't, honestly, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Tell me, tell me in the comments if you see this and it was you because I'll pin it or something. But, the two options are going to be Snowflower and Wintertime, so I honestly hope that Wintertime wins because I really like the name, but we'll see what you guys decide. After three hours, three hours, it is still so close between the two names. Honestly, I don't even... After three hours, I'm ending this post. So the top, even though it's only, it is so close, the results are so close, but I'm picking, well not picking, I'm not picking, you guys picked Snowflower, and I don't even know if that really goes well with this horse, but I mean, I liked Winter Time, but it's not my choice, it's your, you, yeah, it's your choice, so you guys chose that. Now it's time to buy the horse. Oh my gosh, I bought the horse. It has been, this has the, been the longest time it has ever taken to buy a horse. No joke. It's been how many hours? It's been 19 hours. So now I have my second Icelandic horse and I'm so excited about it. And another funny thing is that Anya Firepaw messaged me and said, oh, that's the same horse that people picked for me. And so I looked at her video and it's so funny because 
the voting we had was completely different, but somehow we ended up with the same horse, which is so weird. Okay, let's replace, who do we have to replace? Let's replace Red Heart. Oh wait, I, I keep forgetting that's not how you do it. Um, all right. Wow, okay, that's Snowflower. Wow, she is actually super cute. You can um, tolt in your home stable, like if you want to go really fast, you can do that. So that's fun. I really like the tolt and it reminds me of a Christmas sleigh. Like, you know, horses that pull a sleigh in the winter. I should go to the winter place. I love to use the ices on the ice and everything. I did not think I would like this horse. This horse was one of my last choices. And same with the brown one. I really didn't like that one either. I'm not, I don't know why I just didn't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you voted, thank you for voting too because you helped decide my Christmas horse and I hope you have a Merry Christmas Christmas well today the time that I'm filming this is the 23rd but I'll probably be posting this on the 24th I don't know but thanks for watching bye